okay uh, welcome viewers so uh, in this lecture we want to learn about vacuous and trivial proof uh, before discussing that what is a vacuous and trivial proof we just make the truth table of p implies q okay uh, because uh, it will give you the better understanding of a vacuous and trivial proof so see suppose that that you have uh, two propositions p and q both might be true p might be true q might be false uh, p might be false q might be true or both might be false okay uh, in the previous video lectures we have already seen this thing that uh, what is the result of p implies q basically we see this column only for answering p implies q uh, but when both the statements they are false okay then uh, the result uh, it becomes true okay uh, so here it is true to answer is true here it is false answer is false here it is true to answer is true okay uh, true true value okay false so it is false it is true it is true okay so you see here that when you are uh, this p is false okay and q is false then we can say that the answer is true okay when p is false q is false then the answer is true this is called vacuous proof okay uh, when your uh, hypothesis p is called hypothesis when your hypothesis is false and a q is called conclusion and your conclusion is also false then we say that the answer is true okay and now you see that if your p statement which is hypothesis it is true and your q statement which is called conclusion it is true then the answer is true okay so this is called trivial proof okay so you people remember this thing that if p and q both are true then the answer is true okay it is called trivial proof and when p is false q is false then the statement it becomes true then it is called a vacuous proof now we see the example of this one by one so see here uh, you are given this statement okay that uh, if n is greater than 1 and then n square uh, is greater than n okay so you see here that what is the p statement p statement is n greater than 1 okay uh, okay and then uh, the result is that n square is greater than n okay uh, okay i mean this is the this is the uh, q statement okay this is this one is the p statement uh, this one is the q statement okay now what we want to do is uh, we want to assign a value 0 so in that case it becomes 0 greater than 1 then uh, 1 square is greater than 1 mean 0 greater than 1 then 1 is greater than 1 see uh, this hypothesis it is false this conclusion it is false so when hypothesis and conclusion both are false then we say that the statement it is true okay so p naught is a true okay and this is called vacuous next question you now see uh, you are given this pn like this that uh, pn is this that if a and b are positive integer with a greater than or equal to b I mean if a is greater than or equal to b then a raised to the power n is greater than or equal to b raised to the power n okay uh, we want to see that uh, that this p naught it is true okay so set n value equal to 0 
if a is greater than b then a raised to the power 0 is greater than equal to b raised to the power 0 means if a is greater than b then 1 is greater than equal to 1 because a raised to the power 0 is 1 and b raised to the power 0 is 1 okay so you see that that this is hypothesis part it is already given that this is true okay and your conclusion it is also true okay so when both the statements they are true then we say that the result is true okay so here p naught is okay and this proof uh, is called a trivial So thank you very much viewer for watching this video. I hope ki you people have understood it. Now in the next video lecture we will talk about contradiction. Problem.